What's up? This is Hector, aka Illusions Inc. at Sharky's Paradise. What's up? Glad to see you guys again. Am I supposed to say something else? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we had the opportunity to be at the Villain Arts Convention this year, and that was my first ever convention, and I had the opportunity to tattoo a couple times, which was awesome. I got to do a original design. The guy literally came up to me and said, you know, he wanted a pill bottle with a skeleton coming out of it, and instead of giving him a whole skeleton coming out, I did a pill bottle dropping out pills, but instead of pills dropping out of it, it was tiny little skeleton heads, so I gave him my own little twist, and I thought it was really cool. I have a couple designs up for grabs and everything. I have a Demon Slayer uh, Goonie tattoo. Just, you know, him using his first form and I thought it was a pretty cool Demon Slayer tattoo. And then I have a Eva 1 uh, tattoo from Evangelion. And so it's a little 90s anime, but they're definitely both up for grabs. And anybody wants them or anybody wants me to come up with some cool original stuff, let me know. I got a face tat. Here, eh? I got a face tat. Oh, that's real. That's real. Oh yeah. Hello, mom. Oh, you got a face tattoo at there. Oh yeah, bro. I got that. a face tattoo. Bring bro. it in here. Bring it in here. Hell yeah. Let's see that. Yeah, I see. Yeah, you got that. A Koski symbol from Naruto. So yeah. I got an anime face tattoo from an anime artist, Sage of the Ink from San Antonio. Yeah. That was dope. I know for real. Crazy, right? My mom loves me. Just go over and sit down. Oh yeah. You can set me down, that's my entrance, there you go. Oh! Thanks. <coughs> yes, and that's how you enter a room. Hey guys, it's Chelsea from Sharky's Paradise. Last week I got to go to the tattoo convention. It was the first time as a spectator and as an apprentice. It was really cool to meet all the different artists from all over the place and kind of get their perspective on things, see how they operate, their styles, their techniques. What was the most inspiring thing that you saw while you were there? Just all the hard work and dedication all of the artists have put into their stuff, their shop, their style, and their hard work and dedication to their art. It was a great time. It was great to market yourself with along other artists and really just branch out and meet great people. We got to meet a lot of new artists and see a lot of good talent. Can't wait till, till the next competition comes up. Wow, man, that was, it was crazy. You got to meet a lot of artists. You got to meet, you know, a lot of different types of vendors, just like all sorts of people. Some, to some people that weren't even like tattooed, they were just selling prints. Uh, it's a good experience. I mean, you learn a lot from everything here. Sometimes you're an artist and you tattoo every day and you know like meeting everybody every day because you're just at one place and just it's great to have opportunity to like see what everybody else is doing in this industry. The entire experience itself was really cool. I was able to meet a lot of different people, network, do a lot of designs and hopefully have a lot of returning clients. It's really cool to get my name out there, meet new artists. I love looking at everybody's tattoo work and I've seen some really impressive work walking around. It was really neat. How you feeling buddy? I'm chilling brother. I just gotta have the mask on. Woo! Tell me what's going on in your mind right now. Uh, well, on the actual throw, it definitely feels like somebody's choking you slightly, but, you know, it's straight. The collarbones are way worse than the actual throat, but it's not bad. Vibes all around, chilling here, probably definitely getting a burger after this. Oh, shit. And of course, you know, a bunch of local artists, and then a bunch of artists that you don't normally get to see or meet or talk to. So I think it's very important for people to get that experience in their career. And so I push for it. I do it all the time with as many people as I can. Also, we were able to have some friends of ours. Tattoo Lovers Care, Don came out with both David and Aaron. It was really awesome to be able to see them, you know, thrive in that environment. They do a really great job, you know, with their, with their products. Proud to carry them, proud to recommend them, always. What's going on guys, this is Don from Tattoo Lovers Care. Uh, we are the only all natural vegan CBD infused skincare line and tattoos. Multiple stages of the tattoo healing process require different products to address the needs of the skin throughout the life of a tattoo. So we have a soap, salve, and cream for cleaning, healing, and moisturizing. Uh, coming soon is a sunscreen as well as a serum for revitalizing old tattoos. You can find us at TattooLoversCare.com. In Colorado, in this region, if you need to pick it up, come see us. Yeah, thanks Don.
competitions going on, there's suspensions going on, they always have a bunch of shows. I think one of my favorite things from the convention was just seeing ladies hanging on suspensions. I don't know what it is, it's just a really cool thing, it's a really cool vibe. Someday I'll be able to do it, but I just happen to be doing permanent makeup that morning, so gotta wait till the time is right. The show was crazy too, there was like people hanging from hooks like on their skin. And see a lot of the shows that were going on. I think it was really cool seeing like people being hung by hooks from their backs. My husband and daughter and some other people from the shop got some tooth gems. Right next to our booth we had a tooth gem booth. She was doing lots of different tooth gems on everyone. I got some done, I ended up getting an outline around my teeth. It was really cool. Do you feel? I'm so scared. I love it. Everyone always sees it now and they're like, whoa, that's awesome. And so it really pops out. She had a lot of really cool different pieces that were like 14 karat gold and white gold. So I wanted to stick on more of the basic side, but it was a really cool experience and it's something I'm going to have for the next six months now. She's right here. This one right here. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do it right here on this tooth, right here. Uh, I also got a tooth gem. I got a little cross. If you can't tell, it's right here. Can you see it right there? Shine it. It's New Orleans tooth gems. Shout out, thank you very much. I got a white gold cross with some crystals in it. Pretty cool. I happen to be doing some permanent makeup and my son Clifton went over and he put me in the tattoo competition. So this bad boy right here um, took 10 hours to get tattooed. My husband had done it on my 31st birthday for me. I've always wanted to do a mandala. I drew mandalas forever and ever and 31 was my golden birthday on December 31st, and it was just really special, and it was just really cool to be able to get that done. Jesse came in on Friday and sat for two solid days, literally all day long on Saturday night. That was the last guy literally tattooing in the whole place. Many minutes past uh, after hours and when they're closed to the public, I mean, I tell we tattooed to the very last moment to where they were just <laughs> electric bike over to our booth telling us we need to get the hell out of there. So, shut the lights down on that one. But it was super worth it because Jesse came back the next day and he competed in a couple of competitions for me. And ultimately we ended up walking away with a little bit of hardware. Third place for cover up was pretty cool. That was an awesome thing to, to, to walk away with some, some hardware from competition of any kind. And he sat like a stone. So can't wait to see that one finished up. Walking up for the final Best competition right now. Best of show. We got a couple trophies so far. Our third place for cover up while I was working on this weekend. Pretty stoked. All right, quick little recap today. Did pretty awesome. Had everybody working and tattooing. Hey. Mama running the books and doing great. Hey. What's up, guys? Pretty easy, man. Got a lot of names out there. I got ink on my pants. Oh. I got to see everybody here killing it with tattoos. Oh my God, it's learning a lot. I tattooed all day. I did a tarot card and a cat. Nah, but real talk, it's been a great weekend. Like, same thing Eric said, you know, just getting the name out there, meeting a whole bunch of great artists, everything like that. <laughs> you know? oh,
All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for following us. Thank you guys, you know, for coming down to the convention. I hope you enjoyed yet another week of us talking about what we do. We got to really make our statement at the Villain Art Show. So shout out to everybody. Shout out Troy and your whole crew for making that happen. Got a lot of cool stuff coming up in the next week, so I'm super excited to share that with you. As always, you can find us on uh, Instagram. You can find any of us under the Sharky's Paradise Instagram, as well as on the Sharky's Paradise website at sharkysparadise.com. Congratulations to Sharky, third place, uh, twice in one day, so. We'll see you next week. All right, I hope you guys continue to follow, like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff. Make sure you follow her. And him, and everybody else. From, from the, the Sharky Kids, Kids to you, see you later. Great fucking day, great fucking day.